back to the channel guys real quick real quick i want to uh follow up on a video that i released or that i uploaded um yesterday maybe okay it was filmed uh about three days ago i finally got around to doing some editing and uh uh got it uploaded and what i'm talking about what i'm referring to is the uh zf transmission and the nine speed front wheel drive transmission okay uh zf version is called zf 9 hp 48 okay chrysler's version simply called 948 te all right so now what i was trying to accomplish out of that video was to show uh people what it takes what what you have to do to accomplish a transmission service okay now <laughs> depending on what your definition of a transmission service is uh this video may be helpful uh some people view transmission service as simply draining the fluid and putting in new fluid uh today that's called a transmission flush because that's pretty much all they do guys i mean you're being charged for uh you're being charged for i think the flush procedure i'm not a big fan of transmission flush by the way okay so and i will discuss that and debate anybody on that uh at a later video on the stream we can stream it i mean i have no problem with that but uh, i'm not a big fan of it so but i think the public or the gen general consumer is under the impression that uh a trans flush will fix your transmission <sighs> guys um pretty much nothing a transmission let's call it fluid change because that's all you're doing you're changing old fluid out putting in new fluid uh to me that will have hardly any bearing on the way your transmission shift now if you accomplish adding the correct amount of fluid in your transmission by changing the transmission fluid yes that's a totally different story because you was merely low on fluid okay but uh for the general consumer to be believe that a, a transmission flush or a transmission service for that matter now service can be different because you can essentially be starving for fluid but keep in mind services when you change the fluid and the filter and by the way there's some disadvantage to a transmission service you're not getting all of the old fluid out okay so man the best way or to do to do a properly adequate flush job on a transmission you almost have to do them both okay because you want the filter out but a transmission flush doesn't require you to take the filter out and you want new fluid in the complete transmission but a transmission service will not allow that to happen so uh you're almost going to be forced to do get them both done okay by a reputable shop okay keep in mind all this stuff is really dependent on the equipment that the shop utilizes okay if they utilize a machine just, that just merely drain out some of your fluid and you go back in with new fluid you're still mixing old with new all right so that's a whole nother debate as far as uh mixing mixing fluid and uh going way too long without changing your fluid because yes you can potentially ruin a transmission by waiting too long to change the fluid or to do a service okay but the purpose that transmission behind me right there uh i tore that apart uh mainly to uh to show the disassemble now why just to show on film uh disassembly of nine speed transmission because as of today what is this uh april 12th we are not allowed to go into them okay we're not even allowed i can't we can't even at the deal I'm, I'm referring to we can't even go inside and change the filter uh according to chrysler rules this is a feel for life transmission that should need any repairs inside but even that is up for debate with me okay we can debate that all you want on another video of course uh but so there's only a couple of jobs we're able to do on this particular transmission um uh, valve body is one of them okay and valve bodies have uh some problems they had some problems out of the earlier built uh uh valve body in the nine speed transmission uh so i've had success uh with bumping shifting erratic shifting uh 
skipping a gear. I've had success with uh, replacing the trans uh, valve body. Of course, that's all I was authorized to do anyway. So it ain't like I had to do some major serious diagnosis. If it ever end up, if you ever end up needing a transmission, if you're still on the warranty, uh, basically we're gonna have to semi try a valve body anyway. Okay, so we're gonna figure out if a valve body repair your car anyway. Uh, these are just rules that uh, we have to go by. Um, you know, if I had my own shop, transmission shop, uh, I will. It will be a totally different perception on, on this. But there is no overhaul kits to this thing. There is no repair kits for this thing. Uh, the last time, in fact, I haven't been that far deep into one of those uh, ever since uh, about three years ago when a recall came out for us to replace a, a snap ring down in the rear of the transmission. It was a recall that we had to go in the rear and replace a snap ring. That's the first time I ever went uh, deep off into the rear of a nine-speed transmission. Haven't been in one since up until now. All right. So, and uh, that one's a whole different story. Okay. So, this particular transmission, guys, uh, it's not just uh, a Chrysler issue. It's not just equipped in Chrysler vehicles, Jeep vehicles. Uh, the Acura use them. There's a several, there's several manufacturers that utilize this nine speed transmission. Now, that's why I called out the two different versions, okay? ZF version and the Chrysler version, okay? The ZF version can be found in uh, the Acura MDX, uh, the RLX, okay? Uh, the Fiat 500X, okay? The Doblo, that model, all right? So the Honda Civic, uh, the Honda CRV, all right? So, yes, it's not just a Chrysler uh, product, all right? Chrysler Dodge G product, okay? So those model equipped with the nine speed also now chrysler you can personally find those transmission inside the new pacifica in fact from 17 up to current i think that's standard equipped okay even with the um even with the the new generation three pentastar engine that nine speed transmission will be equipped with that okay so and that came out in 2017 the first time i um uh, laid eyes on a nine speed transmission but was a 2015 chrysler 200 okay now from what i read this transmission was built june of 2011 okay and did not make its debut until 2013 it's just i did not first see it until uh 2015 the chrysler 200 and yes there was some problem in fact the chrysler 200 uh, the 15 model uh there's guys if you own one of these cars there are two recalls that you must get done okay uh dealing with the range sensor or you could be driving along and uh, all of a sudden your chrysler 200 would just poof out on you just go out i mean your steering would get hard of course your steering should get hard if your car is not running but uh you can merely lose all your power and still be running you just stop pulling OK, those are electrical issues, not so much a uh, hardware issue with the transmission. There was a recall on a, a transmission range sensor we have to install. In fact, I got a video uh, discussing that. I'll link it right here. OK, uh, basically, you go in and, uh, or somebody go in. If it's a recall, a technician at a dealer would go in and remove your valve body and install a brand new transmission range sensor. OK, now there was also a recall uh, on the. Uh, the fuse box, okay, uh, part of the fuse box, the terminal in the bottom end of the fuse box uh, was coming in loose, and we had some issues with that. So, in other words, uh, Chrysler 200 has some, uh, that was the first year, I think, that car showed up with the nine-speed. So, of course, all first-year model will have issues. All the bugs are out now, so guys, don't panic. There's nothing wrong with them now. First-year production, you know, basically a guinea pig at that point. So they got a handle on that. But again, I want to stay focused on the purpose of the video because I saw a couple, couple of uh, <laughs> a couple of comments that wasn't uh, pretty dogging out, you know, Chrysler for this setup. And uh, one guy I, I essentially commented on. Um, he was complaining about the fact that it's so hard to replace a filter. And, and you know, of course, he was saying that uh, it's just another way for the dealer or Chrysler to get over on you uh, for money reason. Now, there's a trade-off to everything, I guess. Uh, the filter had to be, to me, had to be in that location uh, because there was no space. There was no other place to put it. 
The typical transmission, you may find a filter right in front of the valve body. Okay. Now, as you know, uh, any particular filter, any kind of filter on anything, engine transmission has to be in line with a pump. Okay. So the way this transmission is designed, <laughs> they almost had no choice but to locate or to put the filter where it's located at. All right. There was no other place to put it. And it's in line with the pump. So, um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a touchy subject. A lot of guys are complaining about they can't replace their filter. You can. It's just extremely hard to do that. And that was the purpose of the video. Okay. Uh, now, I failed to hit home that your transmission have to come out in order to do a transmission service. And I don't know of anybody willing to pay that much money to get their transmission removed uh, just so they can replace the filter. So... And look at the other side of it, guys. Uh, Chrysler said it's a feel for life. You shouldn't have any problems. Um, you know, I don't want to get back on that. All right. So, guys, uh, I just wanted to follow up on that vehicle or on that video. All right. So that transmission is up running smoothly now. OK, like I say, it can be found in some of the newer cars. The 2018 Chrysler Pacifica. OK, uh, pretty much the only repairs we're doing to them now uh is it uh electronically uh via a flash update and we're, all we're doing is changing calibrations when we do that every time engineers find a problem that they deem necessary or worthy of a flash update to address that problem they will upload it out to the technicians micropod and from there from the pod it goes into your car and the changes take effect Okay, whatever the situation they're trying to address, those changes would take effect via uh, the flash update. So that's pretty much all the repairs I have been doing lately uh, as far as uh, the nine speed transmission go. All right. So, guys, uh, rest assured, man, this is a, a fairly sturdy, uh, highly built quality wise transmission. Okay, it should be around uh, for years to come. Okay, uh, it's not going anywhere. So it should be around for a while. We had to find a replacement for the six speed transmission the six speed had its time uh matter of fact it took over a spot of the four speed 41 te a604 that went on longer than planned it was only four gears guys so the six speeds naturally uh have six gears so today's technology <laughs> and to stay competitive chrysler had to come up with a higher speed transmission okay uh and what did they choose? Uh, the ZF model uh, nine-speed transmission. It's going to be around. And now, in fact, uh, last time I was at the training center, I was told uh, repair kit is on the way, overhaul kit. So uh, soon we'll, we, we will be overhauling them. But we're at the point now we're so spoiled. Uh, we're so used to replacing them. Uh, nobody, uh, I mean, <laughs> we just used to replacing them if there's a problem. So, which is very rare. Let me point that out. Very rare. There's a problem. Guys, this video too long. I don't want it to be that long. So, what I'm going to do is end it right here, guys. I just wanted to follow up on that video. There was a couple of questions in the comment. Uh, I addressed the one guy. I addressed most of them. I try to answer both. Uh, and one in particular, a guy asked me about his uh, Pacifica, uh, 55,000 miles. He's feeling some kind of bump. Uh, okay. Uh, and, in fact, I got some pretty... Uh, <laughs> Some pretty rough comments, my man. Uh, uh Stefan Raps. Uh, this is the dumbest I've ever seen. So basically, you're paying a thousand dollar job just to change the trans filter. Wow, Dodge is getting more dumb by the years. Terrible design. Like I said earlier, guys, they had no place to put the filter. So uh, the only safe, decent location they can find was uh, you know, in the area that it's in now. And unfortunately, you have to split the case all right there's there wasn't any way around it so um what i'm gonna do now is uh there were some more questions on this uh nice matthew swainston what's up matt uh nice informative video thanks matt thanks for watching and that was mr matt morrow who uh owned the 2017 pacifica with 55,000 miles he said he has an occasional hard shifting is there an update or reflash recommended we have no trouble codes thanks for your channel Wish you was in my Chrysler dealer. I appreciate that, Matt. That's what's up, man. Thank you for watching. Now, I commented on it. Or I, uh, I responded to his comment, but I can reiterate on it. Uh, yes, uh, 
I can almost guarantee you, Mr. Matt, uh, if you've never had an update done on your transmission, there's almost a hundred percent chance that there is. This is a 2017. This is the first year they came out. Uh, the Pacifica came out. Okay, so and it's likely teamed up with the Generation Three Pinnastar engine. So you have the updated engine and the transmission. Okay, but yes, I can almost guarantee you, guy, there is a flash update. And don't get discouraged if you have a shifting problem and somebody tell you, you may need a flash and you know in the back of your mind you've had a flash done maybe a month ago uh it could be another one available periodically chrysler will come up engineers will come up with these updates to address a certain issue and it might fall, fall into your category so what i'm trying to say is there's no one-time flash that will fix all problems still arise engineers still receive information off of these vehicles and they process all this data and come up with updates uh periodically throughout its time that's just the way it is okay tom cook my man what's going on honda trans filters is the same split the case yeah i named off a of several uh vehicles this zf transmission installed in i think i did mention honda civic so i wonder how uh you know their customers are handling you know how are they able to beat home to the consumer that this is a feel for life transmission and you don't need to do a trans service the thing is guys guys are reaching over a hundred thousand miles now okay like i say this it showed up in 2015 first time i seen it and likely it has over a hundred thousand miles now so they don't give a care what christ will say about feel for life if uh, me personally i have a jeep cherokee 17 model once i cross a hundred thousand miles basically once your warranty over all right so once I cross 100,000 miles, I'm changing my fluid and my filter. That's just the way I am. Okay. So a lot of people are concerned with their transmission now that they're over 100,000 miles and out of warranty. Okay. So if you have any complaints, get them uh, addressed while you're in warranty. At least you will be on file. And I probably shouldn't be saying that, but that's just the case, guys. I look after my subscribers. In fact, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel guys i have to end this video who is this uh b hood that is the absolute worst design i ever seen just another way for car makers and dealership to get more money same thing my man b hood uh they had nowhere else to put it guy <laughs> that was the best location for that design model if you saw you saw me disassemble this transmission there was no place in front of the valve body which is typically where most transmission filters are located there was no place in front of that valve body for a trans filter so they had no choice uh pretty much okay so uh hey what can i say man uh you're entitled to your opinion man i appreciate you watching okay uh i hope you subscribe my man but uh guys i have to end this video man i want to say thanks for watching uh i got some more new i'm trying to get more uh into uh explanatory videos okay and without you know uh upsetting my base so uh the changes are coming uh i hope it's for the better we shall see all right for the few that's on board now i appreciate it all right thanks for watching comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video